what is up everyone? Welcome back. I am Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking and this is probably another video that did not need a full video. But again, when I made the Swift UI Bootcamp the first time we were on iOS 14, we didn't have any of these cool new iOS 15 features like the ones that we're going to cover in this video. And that includes actually a couple new modifiers we're going to look at in this video, including the first one's going to be on submit. So when the keyboard pops up on the device, there's a little return button in the bottom right corner of the keyboard. And prior to iOS 15, we couldn't do anything special in Swift UI with that button. Users could click it, it would dismiss the keyboard, but we couldn't perform any extra actions. With this new on submit modifier, we can now perform any action we want with literally one extra line of code. And after that, we're gonna look at one other new modifier called submit label. And it is kind of exactly what it sounds like. Uh, we can change the label on that return button that pops up on the keyboard. So in iOS 14, the return button, it's always gray, it always says return. But in iOS 15 now, we can actually customize it at least a little bit. So really cool stuff. Let's jump into Xcode and get coding. All right, I am back in our Xcode project. This is the Swivel Thinking Bootcamp. And another super quick video for you guys here. Let's right click the navigator, create a new file. Swift UI view and let's call it submit text field bootcamp. This will be super, super simple guys. Again, these are new updates from iOS 15. Uh, so they were not available when I made the text field video earlier in this series. So the text field video is obviously still very relevant. Uh, and in this video, we're just going to add another text field. Let's keep this one short and quick. Uh, let's use the title. It says placeholder dot 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 text. Let's create a net state private var. Let's say text of type string. Give it a blank value. We will bind with the money sign text. I'm going to delete this prompt because that is some iOS 15 nonsense that we do not care about right now. Uh, but we got a text field on the screen. And if we click on it, the keyboard should pop up. So I'm going to put this in the simulator quickly. I'm going to take this struct, make it the first view in my app, run it to a simulator. So when users click on the text field, we get the keyboard that pops up. Uh, and it looks cool, but prior to iOS 15, uh, there was nothing we could do with this return button, basically. It was always just this return button, and when users click it, it dismisses the keyboard, which is good, that's a start, but we can't perform any actions. And lucky for us now in iOS 15, we can add a .on submit field. This works just like kind of any other closure on appear, on disappear. This is on submit, and we can print uh, something to the console. So if I run the app one more time, let's jump back onto the simulator here. Let's open up the text field. And now when I click return, we can print something to the console. <laughs> uh, so just like that, we can now perform actions when users click that return button. That's super convenient because before users would click it, it would just dismiss the keyboard. And then we'd have to also find a way to run some code or have them click another button to actually submit their text. But now we can do it all in one go, which is convenient. The downside right now though, is that this return button is gray. It just says return. It doesn't say submit or go or anything fancy like that. So luckily another feature of iOS 15 is that we can add a dot submit label. And we can press the period here to get all of our options. And we have more options than I thought Apple would actually give us. So I was expecting just one or two that says maybe like continue, but uh, we have all these different options. So let's do with the route here. Let's run it to the simulator. And we can then see that the word route comes up and we can also, you know, customize this now for each text field. So if I have multiple text fields. Let's cut this and let's do a V stack. I'll paste it three times. And then this one will be placeholder. And then let's just make this one say dot uh, maybe next. And this one will say dot search. And we run this. All right. So if I click on the first one, we get the, the route. We click on the second one, we get next, and we can notice that the next is not blue, the next is gray. Uh, we got another one, we got search, which is back to being blue. 
which is just super convenient. And of course, these all are printing the same thing, but we can customize those actions as well. So we really can start customizing now uh, the look and feel of this keyboard when we're in a text field. All right, quick, easy video for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.